Hi Gemini, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no dates. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that the roles could be reversed between you and your person. And with that said, let's dive in. Remember that these are all general, so of course not everything is going to be the same for all of you. So with that said, let's see. For Gemini, we got the Five of Pentacles. We got the Six of Swords the ace of wands in the reverse so we got libra gemini aquarius we got leo Sagittarius, aries we got taurus Virgo, capricorn we got the eight of wands again Leo uh, fire leo Sagittarius, aries we got the seven of cups in reverse pisces cancer scorpio we got the queen of wands again very strong leo and overall energy we got the queen of cups pisces very strong pisces at the bottom we got the nine of wands so somebody got very hurt by somebody walking away unannounced this person just either or literally goes to you or they just just left you like overnight without an explanation it seems to be that you have a lot of questions in your mind and like in your energies you're wondering like what happened or why happened or why did it happen like i feel like you didn't have closure because you didn't have a clear view of what happened hold on as i was saying you didn't have a quick uh, actual answer of what happened with the 801 sway right here it seems to be that you tried to reach out to this individual or you know could have been and it seems to be that this person like did not respond or they blocked you with the queen of wands that hurt you very very much and that be and you became very cold you became very closed up closed off because you were so hurt and so you felt so betrayed like oh my god this person just legit ghosted me or this person legit ignore me so you decided to with your hurt move forward it seems to be that you're holding a lot of resentments you're very upset at how things ended and you are very hurt so you put your guard up because again you tried to get your answers you tried to be an adult you tried to make it you know and this person just completely ignored you when the queen of wands right here i'm sorry with the queen of cups right here it seems to be that you have been putting a lot of effort to not reach out to not get your emotions to to try to stop your emotions let's put it that way to get the best of you so you're doing your best you're doing your best to not reach out you're doing your best to not let it hurt you you're doing your best to not fall into temptation to say hey how are you like to hear their voice that's what i'm hearing here wait again strength leo energy you have been putting a lot like i said it's become it's becoming a, a big test for you to not reach out to them so you're doing everything in your power to be strong and not fall into temptation to reach out to this person with the five of cups you also are trying your best to not let your like i said your emotions to get the best of you you're also trying your best to not showing up how hurt you are and you're also trying to to get over that but at the same time it's like how can i move on without a proper answer like i don't know what i did wrong i don't know what happened i don't know why they did this so it's like a lot of questions in your head that that is what it causes the inability to move on like that is what causes that with the three of cups right here i feel like you wonder there was somebody else the whole time you guys either or were together or were talking but like i said before these are all speculations because you really don't know what happened and it's like your energies are asking for answers and let me see if i can give that to you why did this person left gemini what was the real reason behind the them leaving unfortunately you're gonna be very sad what this is i'm gonna tell you in a minute so it seems to be that they were very sad not very sad but very unhappy with you unfortunately they could have told you like a grown-up but they chose not to they were very unhappy with you in a way that they were not feeling the connection anymore it seems to be that they were feeling like that for a minute but they just didn't have the courage or the balls to tell you in 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 situations they, they yeah they did have somebody else at, at the same time with you it used to be that they were cheating on you unfortunately like they had with the gemini energy here they were actually cheating on you because we got the three of swords here they were cheating on you with somebody else somebody that can either or they met at work or somebody that just like met this could have been also an ex for others of you so they just didn't want to hurt you they didn't want to again when i said they didn't want to hurt you that's what they said to themselves but we know the fact is that they just didn't want to face their mistakes right so they did cheat on you they were not happy for a minute instead of like talking to you about it or that they were like fell out of love or they were no longer interested instead of telling you they chose to do the very selfish thing of running away that's why they cut you off that's why they ghosted you with no explanation because they couldn't face you cowardly you know 
<coughs> that they have somebody else that they cheat on you, unfortunately. And with the Nine of Cups right here, they felt very guilty. Even though that they walked away and all that, guilt was there because they know damn well that they were doing something very, very wrong, that it was not right. With the Two of Swords, they thought like by ignoring it, by not talking to you, by not having to see your face was enough for them to be able to move on from it. But keep in mind with the King of Wands right here that they carry a lot of guilt when it comes. Yeah, they carry a lot of guilt. They are with the <clears throat> nine, I'm sorry, Page of Cups, Pisces energy. They're very embarrassed. It seems to be that they may reach out wanting to make peace with you. But again, they did they do that or they did that because they were not in love with you anymore or interested in you anymore. They could not face you because they knew it was wrong they did cheat on you because if you guys were talking or so and you were not aware that this was over or that was not working this is what i consider cheating you may not consider this cheating whatever you consider cheating they did because the, the three or the three of swords is what it is that's what it is so long story short they just felt very embarrassed of what they were doing and they couldn't face you it seems to be that they're coming back again with an apology but again it's like they they can't look at your you and the eye that's what i'm getting <clears throat> because they know with the emperor and various areas energy they were not trustworthy they were actually not honest with you again a lot of guilt because they know they were shady they know them well they were shady and again this is hitting them hard because again this is their guilt they can't get out of guilt they can't get out of like oh my god what did i do to poor gemini you know so they feel very hurt by what they've done to you and they carry that guilt and that in that in that burden in their energies you know so they can't be really happy or fully happy because they're carrying what they've done to you what is coming towards gemini now in love we have a leo energy we got the seven of pentacles here towards Virgo Capricorn. We got the five of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The chariot, Cancer, energy in reverse. We got the seven of cups, again, water sign. We got the seven of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and overall energy. We got the four of cups in reverse, the page of wands, and the judgment, karma, energy, which Libra. We got the devil here, Capricorn. So I feel like life has punish them in a way to perform this is karma again people are so afraid of the word karma and when i call about it or talk about it people are like oh don't wish this you don't have to wish nothing upon nobody here in life we all have free will we all will do things because we want to and we all gonna get things back because what we deserve you don't want to be like getting karma back karma back don't be bad or mean to people like you get what you deserve in life and that's what they're getting unfortunately this is like a little bit of their own medicine regardless of what you say they shouldn't know better because as they will the same way as you and me they had the free will to do things correctly and they chose not to so don't be asking for my empathy for somebody who unfortunately knew they were doing things wrong and they chose to be wrong so again i'm actually quite in the middle i don't put my nose in where it doesn't need to be but again i'm a material reader and i'm gonna tell you what i see that is different than me giving an opinion this is just giving you what the universe and spirit has if you don't like it click out going back to this again Life has hit them in the butt very badly. Now, they have wasted a lot of money. It seems to be that they lost their job or they lost hours at work. Something with money is hitting them very, very hard. With the Five of Cups, now they feel alone. They feel like alone in the world. I feel they feel like lost. They feel like lost in the in the cold. Again, there's a lot of a lot of like regret in their energies. They can't find content. They can't find con like fulfillment anywhere because they know what they've done they try to run away from it but every time they run away from it it's like they're they're closest they're close or more close to what they've done to you it's like you can't really escape when you do things wrong you know like life will give it back to you 10 times worse with the chariot right here and the seven of cups it seems to be that if they were with somebody else like i said before the one that they left you for or so they got cheated on as well uh or the person left them for somebody else regardless of cheating or not uh they have it have not been very successful in their love life they have not felt very fulfilled in their love life so they couldn't meet people that they could actually hook up with but it's not more than that it's like they don't find quality quality people that they could just build something let's put it like that or that's what they consider right 
with the seven of wands right here it seems that it seems to be that they're tired of hooking up only they're tired of like fighting they're tired of like fighting in life it seems to be that everything they've done since they left you has just become a quest it hasn't been easy it hasn't been what they wanted like like i said before life ha has put a lot of challenge and blockages in their energies and this is legit karma for them with the four cups right here um they also got played they somebody played with their feelings and that's when with the picture once they realized like oh my god okay look at this i'm getting back what i did to gemini they understood that oh okay this is how it feels you know with the judgment in reverse right here karma hit them twice because again you not only in the money situation also in their friends and family and also in their love life like it's going life is going very bad for them not gonna lie with the devil right here and the eight of swords right here again they're attached to you in a way because they need to apologize to you they thought they could continue with life succeeding being happy forgetting about you like acting like nothing happened that's not how life works and they have to come back the fact that they need to break their own karma is to come back and apologize to see if you actually forgive them but again they have been very unsuccessful in their love life very unsuccessful in their money finance career so again it is very hard for them to be happy and content when they had to drag that guilt in that in the fact that they hurt you the way you did the way they did i'm sorry to you so again karma is hitting them recently and it has been as well so again they're coming back in just to tr they got to come back to apologize to you that's what they have to do and i feel like they understand that <clears throat> So again, I know this is not what you wanted to hear maybe when I asked about your love life, but it's something that you needed to hear for some reason. But is there anything new for Gemini in their love life regardless of their ex? Is anything new? Again, you have a lot of a lot of karma in your energy. I see I feel like this is about that person, definitely. Because it seems to be that you need to break free from that. So we got the eight of swords, the judgment in reverse, the nine of wands, and the, the star. I got Libra Gemini Aquarius. We got definitely Aquarius energy. We got Libra energy. We got Leo Sagittarius Aries. So we keep getting the same cards over and over. The page of wands, the ace of swords, the three of cups. So it seems to be that you are oh my god, the five of wands in reverse over all energy. It seems to be that you have to heal from that. So it seems to be that you're still hurting by hurting because of that. If you tell me no, I'm sorry, it doesn't look like it. It means that either or this is not your reading or you are not wanting to acknowledge it. Regardless of that, that's up to you. But it seems to be that you still are like connected and bounded to that person because there is karma still like getting you guys together. There is an apology. Things need to be done correctly. So nothing on your part. They have to come back and give you the apology and the explanation that you need. Even if you know the reason already, they need to be the man or the woman that you met or that you once thought they were and they need to come forward and give you the reason face to face and they need to apologize to you face to face. Well then I know once you need to hear that so you can actually release let go forgive and move forward because with the start in reverse you have lost your light you have lost that part of you because this person hurt you so much that it's actually acting as a shadow within your energies so you need to work on that and the only way that you are going to release is to get that apology because karma is written and it seems to be that you guys not need to be together as a couple but you need to get that apology you need to get that apology to move on with the picture ones in the ace of swords it seems to be that yes they're coming in with an apology they're coming in with an intention with the ace of swords it's like a bittersweet situation it's like a win because you get what you need but at the same time it's like facing the past and facing what's that what has happened and with the three of cups and the five of ones i don't see reconciliation happening perhaps because there's a lot that has happened that is too much to carry too much to forgive but it seems to be with the five of cups right here that you are no longer have to live in the five of cups energies which is having the energies of like the person you love hurting you and not having an answer because the what if energy is the worst thing ever once you get that apology once you get that that you need that you may think oh i don't need it you do need it you become the queen of ones which is yeah you're hurt but you are content in a way having tunnel vision and having per at least uh, a destiny on where to go with the king 
when the nine of cups pisces against the scorpio seems to be like oh two new people are coming in so after you get that closure that situation done said and done it seems to me that another water sign and an earth sign is coming in those people could be younger than you they could be two years younger to three years younger than you they're coming in around the same time one of them is taller than the other so the earth sign seems to be taller they could be a little bit maybe a little bit older than the other person that's coming in regardless of this after this is close said and done there's two people that you don't know they're completely new coming in your coming towards you and again you will have possible options of dating somebody that you may like and with the ace of wands right here we got the leo satyrs energy which is sent by the universe because the cycle is close with the past that it ended and you are ready and free to welcome the new with the ace of wands as well it's telling me that it's something that you can work on something that you actually can put effort in it's something that can actually work and expand so something trustworthy something that's actually completely what you want or it could be whatever you want is coming in after you deal with the past and close that door forever most likely shut that door forever what was the purpose for gemini for all this to happen what was the purpose of all of this so you actually see people for who they really are Sometimes with, we got the Four of Swords, the King of Wands, the Emperor, the Lovers in Reverse, at the bottom, the King of Pentacles in Reverse. Sometimes we rom romanticize somebody before we get to know them for who they really are completely. And the fact is that they needed to give you a reality check, unfortunately, as hard as that, as that may sound. Also, they realized that even though that this person could have been a soulmate, they also show you that soulmates are not always the person that stays with you forever. It's the person that shows you a chapter of your life that you didn't know you needed to, to see or to needed to go through for you to pretty much awake and actually get on your spirituality, on higher levels on your spirituality. Also helps you with the reality of what love can be and love isn't. So sometimes we experience what love is not for us to realize what love is all about. So that's pretty much what happened to you. You did meet a uh, soulmate, but this was a karmatic soulmate or a karmic soulmate that was just meant to your life, to be in your life, to show you lessons. So you can actually see what you don't want in a relationship and also for you to see your worth and to work on yourself and to realize what power you hold because you hold you hold a lot of power but you sometimes forget so it's pretty much for you to put yourself first and when things are not what you want for you to move on without putting any efforts into it for you to pretty much move on to the new because moving on to the new with the full energy aries energy could be very risky could be very nerve-wracking nerve because you know the new is something that we don't know and sometimes we stay in the past or we want to go to the past because we already know it's something that we feel comfortable with it's something that we already have like some um idea of how it's gonna go but when the new it's like we don't know how it's gonna end so sometimes we go back to the past even though that is not the best it's because it's what we already know so for you or your lesson is for you to not be afraid of the new, to not be afraid to move forward, to not be afraid to stop investing on people that don't deserve to be invested in. So that's pretty much the lesson for you. What is the final message for Gemini here? What is the final message for Gemini here? <coughs> the Eight of Swords. <coughs> Sorry, guys. The Page of Cups and Reverse. So we got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, based from Pisces, the death card, Scorpio energy in reverse. So they're telling you to not feel bad because you're you're not really losing anybody, specifically the past. You're not losing anybody. You're not losing because with the ten of swords right here, all because think about it. Every time you think about the past, what do you remember the most? The good moments or the things that they've done to you, which are not the best. So when you think about somebody and the memories you have are mostly negative, it is not a loss to lose that kind of person. It's not a loss because at the end of the day, if the only thing you can remember about a specific someone is negative things, what, what do you want them for in your life? What do you want them for in your life? You know? So you're really not losing people who are just giving you bad memories or you remember them as something painful. You know, when something negative it's, holds more weight than the positive, you're really not losing anybody. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I don't see you reuniting with the past. I see you actually moving forward, transforming, be the new person. And actually, I see you holding yourself in such high regard that you're no longer putting any effort into things that are not worth it. You're no longer putting more than what you're getting. And 100%, I see you waiting for people to show you exactly what they mean. Like promising you shit, but actually 
put in the effort to make that a possibility so you have changed you right now and the king of swords and the queen i'm sorry the queen of swords and the king of pentacles energy you're like okay i see you i hear you now it's time for you to show me exactly what you want and for you to show me exactly what you're telling me so right now you're actually basing your decisions in in not only intention but actions and again, something new is coming with the Knight of Pentacles. Something new is coming. Somebody completely new that you don't know. 100% coming in your energies. So that's pretty much what I got for you, Gemini. Pretty short. Not too long today. So let's see. Oh, hold on. Let's see what is the initials of the past person. And I'm going to also give you an initial from the new person as well. So let's see what is the past person's initials. Keep in mind that these are all new. I'm sorry, not new. Ugh. General. I don't know what I said then. MS and Michelle, YS and Yes, CS and Kat, PS and Patrick, OS and Oscar, ES and Edwin, KS and um, KFC, <laughs> RS and Rose, IS and Ian, and <clears throat> WS and William. This is from the initials from the past person. No, puppy, go to play, okay? Go play. Thank you. Now we're gonna go with the initials of the new person. X is on Xavier, Z is on Zebra, H is on Hamburger, W is on William, Walter, <laughs> R is on Rose as well, A is on Apple, C is on Cat, G is on George, Georgie George, and V is on Victor, and J is on Jason. So those are the possible initials of the new person. Keep in mind that these are not for one person only. And they don't always mean they could be their first name. It could be first, last, middle, or even a nickname for them. Okay? So with that said, let's take a look. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. I keep forgetting my brain is like poops today. So let's see what is the time frame for you to meet to get that communication from the past person first. That is not it. What does your intuition feel the time frame is? That is the answer. Then we got before the end of summer months. And the other one says, there is a blockage you are not aware of. Identify it. Then come back and ask again. And ask again at a later time. Sorry. Okay. There is a blockage you are not aware of. Identify it. Identify it. Then come back and ask again at a later time. Sorry. They just didn't have the coma. So I'm like, what? And then the momentum is rolling. Stay positive. It's on the way. Again, these are the possible um, answers for the past person. Now for the new person. So we have, are you asking from your true higher self? If so, the time frame is sooner than you think. <clears throat> Two months. Twelve months. Let me get the card. Hold on. And last card says by the next season. And at the bottom, we got close your eyes. Feel what you want. Approximately three months. Again, these are the possible time frames. Again, they're all general. Now, to finalize your reading, let me just give you a card from the angels. Let's see what they have for you. So, Ace of Earth. The inflow of abundance and promising business venture, important documents or contacts. Then we got Eagle, Archangel Jophiel. A false sense of entrapment, being over, overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. The Star. The same Archangel Jophiel. Happy times make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. And at the bottom says, King of Air, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. So this is the end of your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to win a free reading. I'm hosting a free reading giveaway. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I also made a video about the free reading giveaway. So you want to comment down that video to be considered for that free reading. Keep in mind that I don't off do not offer any free readings anywhere besides the YouTube. If you want to follow my social medias, I most likely already did or I'm showing you right now. Uh, I'm definitely close for personal readings. And with that said, thank you guys for your time. I hope you like you guys liked it. Sorry for the stops, but I had to take care of my child. But hey, thank you guys so very much. You guys have an amazing day and I love you guys. Bye.